Well, for the first time in two years, the Raul Jimenez Thanksgiving dinner will be held in person at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center today. Volunteers spent the day preparing for Thursday. All this, of course, as organizers tell the night team's Alyssa Cole, they need even more help as the side effects of inflation continue. We lost the interaction with the people, the dancing, the music, all the fun that came with the nostalgic value of the Thanksgiving dinner, which my grandfather started 43 years ago. So we're super happy to be back. One of the nation's largest Thanksgiving dinners is underway in downtown San Antonio, the 43rd Raul Jimenez annual Thanksgiving dinner. On Sunday, the RK group donating more than 550 turkeys. I to say that we were able to donate the turkeys needed to provide this meal uh, for this long-standing San Antonio Raul Jimenez dinner uh, tradition. Uh, make sure that the turkeys have access water. The community style of dinner is a give back event expected to feed more than 25,000 people. And Raul Jimenez's grandson tells us this year's dinner will make a difference for people who need it most. Prices have gone up with inflation and it's just getting really, really hard to afford things. While Americans are embracing for an expensive Thanksgiving, data from USDA estimates food prices will be up 9.5 to 10.5 percent this year. Historically, they've only risen 2% annually. We just kind of have a community table so that everyone could come, enjoy. That way no one's left behind and the mission continues. Now, of course, the Jimenez annual Thanksgiving dinner is free and open to the public. The doors are set to be open at 10 a.m. on Thursday. And of course, you can expect our KSAT cameras to be there covering the entire event. Alyssa Cole, KSAT 12 News.